Welcome to everyone that's here joining us. Our live coverage will be commencing shortly. Um, as you can see, we're having a very unusual unveiling this year um, due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Uh, but with that said, we have a very exciting program for everyone. By virtue of the powers vested in the South African Heritage Resources Agency, in terms of Section 27.5 of the National Heritage Resources Act, number 25 of 1999, SARA has hereby declared on 21 December 2018 the South African Astronomical Observatory formerly known as the Royal Observatory as a National Heritage Site. The South African Astronomical Observatory is located on Observatory Road, Earth 26423, Observatory Cape Town, east of Falkenberg Psychiatric Hospital. West and northwest of the site is the confluence of the Black and Leesburg Rivers. The cultural landscape that surrounds the site has great historical, social, architectural, environmental, and scientific value. The landscape has been associated with past events, persons, uses, community identity, and oral history linked to the First Nations people, Khoi and San heritage. The South African Astronomical Observatory in Cape Town has played a highly significant scientific role over time as the oldest permanent observatory in the Southern Hemisphere. Though it has been connected to the history of astronomy both locally and internationally for more than 200 years, it remains a living institution and retains its prominence in the international astronomical community. The National Heritage Site was unveiled on 20 October 2020. On this day, the bicentenary of the founding of this observatory on 20 October 1820, we commemorate its scientific achievements over the past two centuries. For much of its history, this observatory was the major contributor to positional astronomy in the Southern Hemisphere. Observations made by a Cape astronomers include the first measurement of the distance to a star, the first photographic sky survey, the accurate measurement of the distance to the sun, developments in stellar spectroscopy, the determination of the shape of the Earth in the Southern Hemisphere, and the first accurate geodetic surveys of Southern Africa. We use the stars to tell the time for initiation, for agricultural cycles, and many other things. I have a radical thought that Africa is the birth of scientific thought being the cradle of mankind, we were the first to get that connection with the night sky. On science engagement, for the South African Astronomical Observatory, science engagement continues to be an important part of not only highlighting the work done at the organization, but as a tool to promote the importance of science in daily life. I would like to thank the South African Astronomical Observatory, a research facility of the NRF, which operates under the mandate of the Department of Science and Innovation and the South African Heritage Resources Agencies for co-hosting this occasion and for inviting me. Our youths should know that long before modern astronomy, our ancestors practiced ancient or indigenous astronomy right here in South Africa and on the continent as a whole. The main building was finished about 1828. We had quite a few discoveries were made here. Was the distance to the nearest star. What was done here really was the first application of photographic plates to making catalogues of stars. When Sir David Gill was the head of the observatory, he was inspired by the picture of a comet that had been sent to him by an amateur astronomer. This picture actually showed stars in the background. So for the first time they realized that photography had become sensitive enough to take pictures of stars. So they started up a whole special telescope dev devoted to taking star pictures, and the first big catalogue of southern stars was actually made from this observatory. This momentous occasion of the unveiling of the South African Astronomical Observatory as a national heritage site is therefore a proud moment for all South Africans. 
and will go a long way in propelling the culture of innovation that exists already in our country. I congratulate the 200-year-old observatory, the National Research Foundation, the Department of Science and Innovation, and all those who have contributed to growing this crucial part of our national heritage.